this is the coordinates that Kirk sends to Scotty. It says, go check out some, there's something out there. But I was wondering, what are these coordinates? So first glance, I'm seeing four numbers separated by dots. Yep. Four numbers to me, first glance means three space, one time. Okay. Okay. So I would think 23, 17, 46 are spatial dimensions. 11 is the you, time. You're talking about X, Y, Z, or you're talking about R, theta, phi? Uh, based on the numbers, I'm thinking it's got to be X, Y, Z because they're similar in size, right? 23, <laughs> 17, 46. Yeah, I guess. Whereas if, if it was R, theta, phi, I'm thinking R is going to be enormous. Whereas I mean, depending on what the restricted scale to... of the units are. And then theta <laughs> phi, yeah. Theta phi would be restricted to two pi and pi. Mm -hmm. So I guess which... it's possible that... Unless uh, they could be in degrees. So instead of two pi and pi, it could be 360 and 180. So I think it's possible that they could be the same order of magnitude. I just think it would be unlikely. Yeah. There's a narrow window where this is pointing in like the first octant and it's just exactly right. Right. Okay, do you know what I mean by first octant? So they're in 3D space, XYZ coordinates. The XYZ, the, the three planes mm -hmm. split space into eight zones. Perfect. Um, so you're like saying first there's octant. There's one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. then five, six, seven, eight. That's the, yeah. that's the octants. And first octant is where each coordinate X, Y, Z is positive. Right. And smaller than 90. Because that's what all these are. For 90 like degrees. Oh, you're thinking angles. I'm oh, thinking oh, oh also... that's right, that's right. you're still thinking X, Y, Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, back yeah. to X, Y, Z. Then, yeah, these yeah. would all be positive. Mm -hmm. So if it, if it was R theta phi, I'd be expecting large number in the first entry and then degree or radian-like entries in the next two. Um, these can't be radians. Too big. I mean, radian, it could radian, be modulo radian. 2 pi if we're going weird. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why? Like, where is that star? Let me spin around a bunch of times and then divide out that 2 pi. Oh, it's right there. Like, why would you do that? I need you to spin the Enterprise 16 times before we get to the proper bearing. It's like old treasure maps. They're like, turn three times. <laughs> like, I'm already looking that way. It can spin yeah. the same way. Yeah. Okay. Possible, but I'm going to say extremely unlikely. <laughs> unlikely. I agree with that. Good assessment. <laughs> uh, so I want to say X, Y, Z. Sure. And But that doesn't make any sense because if this is the solar system centered at the sun, sure. you would expect the Z coordinate, which probably is lined up perpendicular to the ecliptic, to be a very small number compared to the other two if you're out at Jupiter. I see what you're saying. So, so if you have the sun would be like zero, 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 and then at the North star would be like, no, I, that wouldn't be right either. You would put all the, the planets north, would have a very low Z number. They'd all right? be in the, in the saucer plate in the, in the disc yeah. of the galaxy of yeah. the solar system. It, yeah. It would be like plus or minus some small number compared to like the distance from the sun to Jupiter would be enormous. So you'd expect X and Y to potentially be large. Hmm tight logic what else so if it's thing? if it's xyz you're in the first coordinate sorry sorry you're in the first octant meaning x 23 17 is y which is from some arbitrarily chosen x-axis mm -hmm. which i guess is pointing towards springtime i think is what we choose for the x-axis yep um that seems okay. I guess so then the how does vernal the 40... equinox specifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the vernal equinox, yeah. So then the 46, maybe that is much, much tinier. It's just known that it's a much smaller number. So it's like 23, 230 million, 170 million, and then... 46 40... trillion, but it's like, oh, but the obvious number is 46. Don't worry, don't, we'll drop the units. Super lazy. Yeah, we'll drop I the units. It. So now I hate it. I we're hate like... It so much baking in the assumptions about what these coordinates are. I don't like it. So it's like one's in me one's in 10 to the ninth meters, 10 to the ninth meters, 10 to the three meters and seconds 11. from some 11. arbitrary time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know what else this could be. I feel like there's no way we could figure it out because there's it looks like there's too many assumptions baked in. I agree. Not enough information for me able to discern different ideas. Yeah. Just, just not enough. Oh, neat though. Whatever the neat system though. is. Yeah, whatever the system is. Nice and compact. Whole numbers. 